sophomore year, surprise came along late January. I was uh, sitting on my computer, goofing off, and uh, I went dark. My little sister, from what I've told, ran up to my mom and uh, told her I was scaring her. You know, I was having a full grand mal seizure. I was rushed over to LGH. I th yeah, they said I they did a CAT scan on me. I remember waking up in the hospital, completely confused. Had no idea what was going on. Tired, but otherwise I felt okay. And they said I was all right, so they sent me home. It was like two in the morning at that point, and um, I just went home and went back to sleep. Everybody kept a close eye on me, and then I guess I had or two more seizures. Middle of the snowstorm, pretty much at this point. You know, this entire area over here was, you know, just. It was just dumping snow everywhere, but um, you can imagine here this road isn't the easiest. But they rushed an ambulance over, and uh, they took me straight to Hershey. They found a brain tumor, which they later told it was a ganglioglioma brain tumor, which is a uh, rank one class of brain cancer. So um, you know, they found that, and they just put me on epileptic meds, and they said, well, you know, we can't do anything because it's right next to a very important artery in the brain, which uh, if cut or nicked improperly could lead to like a major stroke or something like that, or worse. So they said, we just can't touch it. We gotta let it go. We can't even biopsy it and see what it really is. They operated it 11 months later and they took it out and uh, actually went very well thanks to uh, the amazing neurosurgeon, Dr. Elias Rizik. Shout out to you. <laughs> Great man, saved my, I say he saved my life in a lot of ways. I was really, really proud of him, how brave he was going into it. And I, honestly, this is, he actually kept all of us strong by being strong. I don't know how he did it. I couldn't have done it. I really, it was amazing how strong he was. He acted like he wasn't horribly afraid and he acted like it was going to be okay. And, and it actually did help all of us. My brother is my hero. How come? Because um, he was really strong through the whole entire thing. Before everything happened, I used to play rugby. And, you know, that's a pretty contact on sport, no pads or anything like that. Kind of upset me. I was really, actually, I played rugby for three years before I had all this, and I was only starting to get really good at it, finally. So, you know, and then that took me out. And where I used to be an advanced student and everything, uh, some areas I began to lack quite a bit because of the area I hit in the brain. In a way, um the past two years we lost a lot of a lot of things a lot of normal things that a lot of kids can do we can't play sports I, I couldn't teach him how to drive I can't you know do those things and it's frustrating watching him deal with that my plans kind of originally got you know shafted after after the thing happened so it was I was I wanted to become a, I want to go in the military in a military college become an officer and I can't do that I can't even get, I can't even touch it with a 10-foot pole since then, I've devoted my time to like volunteer work. You know, not many people know about who the guys are that dress up in you know Star Wars costumes and walk around you know baseball stadiums and go around doing that stuff. But you know, they think they're just maybe hired actors or something like that. But they're they're an organ a charity organization, 501st Legion. After I had my brain surgery, five of them um, came to visit me, knock on the door, you know, ding dong, open up the door, and be like, hi, and just you know. Your favorite Star Wars characters just knocking on the door. <laughs> it was amazing. Graduation, yeah, it's bittersweet because, like I said, we've missed out on a lot, and it's here. And I'm really proud of him. I am really proud of him, and I'm really looking forward to him graduating. Right now, I'll get to college as soon as I can, you know, and uh, graduate. Oh, very, very much so. Yeah, graduate, get that done with, enjoy the summer, and uh, build my armor for the 501st. That's a big one for me because you know I want to give back after what they gave. Thank you.